Henry and Mudge and the Starry Night by Cynthia Ryland Illustrated by Susie Stevenson Contents Big Bear Lake, 75 A Good Smelly Hike, 80 Green Dreams, 85 Big Bear Lake In August, Henry and Henry's big dog Mudge always went camping. They went with Henry's parents. Henry's mother had been a campfire girl, so she knew all about camping. She knew how to set up a tent. She knew how to build a campfire. She knew how to cook camp food. Henry's dad didn't know anything about camping. He just came with a guitar and a smile. Henry and Mudge loved camping. This year, they were going to Big Bear Lake, and Henry couldn't wait. We'll see deer, Mudge, Henry said. Mudge wagged. We'll see raccoons, said Henry. Mudge shook Henry's hand. We might even see a bear, Henry said. Henry was not so sure he wanted to see a bear. He shivered and put an arm around Mudge. Mudge gave a big, slow, loud yawn. He drooled on Henry's foot. Henry giggled. No bear will get us, Mudge, Henry said. We're too slippery. A Good Smelly Hike Henry and Mudge and Henry's parents drove to Big Bear Lake. They parked the car and got ready to hike. Everyone had a backpack, even Mudge. His had lots of crackers. Henry's mother said, Let's go! And off they went. They walked and walked and climbed and climbed. It was beautiful. Henry saw a fish jump straight out of a stream. He saw a doe and her fawn. He saw waterfalls and a rainbow. Mudge didn't see much of anything. He was smelling. Mudge loved to hike and smell. He smelled a raccoon from yesterday. He smelled a deer from last night. He smelled an oatmeal cookie from Henry's back pocket. Mudge, Henry laughed, giving Mudge the cookie. Finally, Henry's mother picked a good place to camp. Henry's parents set up the tent. Henry unpacked the food and pans and lanterns. Mudge unpacked a ham sandwich. Finally, the camp was almost ready. It needed just one more thing. Who knows the words to love me tender, said Henry's father with a smile, pulling out his guitar. Henry looked at Mudge and groaned. Green Dreams It was a beautiful night. Henry and Henry's parents lay on their backs by the fire and looked at the sky. Henry didn't know there were so many stars in the sky. There's the Big Dipper, said Henry's mother. There's the Little Dipper, said Henry. There's E.T., said Henry's dad. Mudge wasn't looking at stars. He was chewing on a log. He couldn't get logs this good at home. Mudge loved camping.
Henry's father sang one more sappy love song. Then everyone went inside the tent to sleep. Henry's father and mother snuggled. Henry and Mudge snuggled. It was as quiet as quiet could be. Everyone slept safe and sound, and there were no bears, no scares. Just the clean smell of trees and wonderful green dreams.